All right, we are getting into one of my favorite subjects and that is profitability. We're gonna talk about how to go out there and maximize that for 2019. Now, each one of you for this class, I hope your instructor has passed out your envelope, which is gonna have $599 in it. Also, your placemat, which is gonna be very important because I think the most important thing about making money is being able to follow the money. Where is it going? Where are all my expenses at? How is this gonna end up operating? And I wanna show you today, without having inventory and doing a $599 show, where is the money? And after we're done, you're gonna see that you are at least making 40 plus dollars an hour. And if you take advantage of some of our sales here at Pyromats, you're gonna start seeing yourself over $50 an hour. So I have a great, lovely assistant that's gonna be working with me today, and that is Miss Stacy Berkheimer. Stacy, say hello. Hi. All right, Stacy, in front of you right now, and in front of all of you, hopefully you've opened up your money, you're putting it in front of you right now, um, you're putting it in your different stacks. Stace, we've been through this, we've done this. How are you feeling right now? I think that this is one of the most important things that we can teach these women, that they're actually making money and how to see the money. So I'm, I'm thrilled. And I think after they see how much money they make on one party, it will be very, very helpful for them to start thinking about how many parties do I want to have? How do I start investing after that? But the biggest thing is how and where is my money right now? And how can I sit back and show where it all goes in a very linear, easy format to follow? So. Hopefully you guys have got all your money. You should all have 26 20s, you should have five tens, you should have four fives, and you should have nine ones in front of you uh, right now. So I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna pause for just a second and make sure that you can collect your money, put it out like a Monopoly board, set it all up for you, and get ready to rock and roll with this. All right, Stace, you ready? I'm ready. All right, here's what we're gonna talk about right now. We're gonna talk about our party. Now, what we have to understand is we had a party retail sales of $579, which was the total retail. Okay, now, there were six people that came to this party. So there were six people that ordered, so one of which was the hostess. Now, before the hostess actually ordered, the party was $420, right? So we're gonna have to, that's where we're gonna get our, our uh, hostess credit number. And also we like to give a gift. So I'm gonna walk through how all of this is gonna put together. So we are gonna have, if you're looking at the screen right now, we're gonna have 310 that's gonna be for our retail sales. The other thing that you're looking at right now is your hostess credit. Remember, you have to give 10% of the party, right? You gotta make sure that you're giving that back to that young lady. Uh, and it was $420, which was the retail. And so we're gonna make sure that that's your, your $42, but your cost is 25. You're also gonna give a hostess gift. Now, stay, you probably give a coochie, coochie. or something. <laughs> yeah, so it's coochie, so $20, $20 $20 item. So that's gonna cost you $12. So it's gonna be a total. So each one of you are gonna pull out of your stack of money three hundred and forty seven dollars now i did want to let you know if you follow my calculation on the side which is going to be 16 20s two tens one five and two ones and what you'll do is you'll place those on your mat where it says cost of product all right stace how was that? Was that we good? We are good. All right. So you got your you got your sixteen, you got your sixteen, and then you got your uh, two uh, 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 tens. Okay, good. So let's talk about this, Stace. So we have now two other categories because when we buy stuff from the corporate office, we have a couple things that come in tow, right? One of which is we have this thing that's called shipping and handling. We've got to pay for the product to come out to us, right? So we're gonna have a shipping and handling chart. And we're also going to have another charge, which is going to be our sales tax charge. Okay, because some of the areas you got to pay sales tax, and right now this example is going to be a seven percent sales tax. So, Stacy, we're going to owe forty-five dollars to the company based off the shipping chart to get the order to us, and we will then owe forty-four dollars in sales tax to pay for the order. Both of which we've collected from our party. So, go ahead and pull that. That's going to be four twenties, one five and four ones for a total of $89. All right, everybody should have got to that. Now, Stace, now there's probably business expenses that, that kind of go along with the doing a party. Um, what would some of those kind of like business expenses be that you'd run into? I just think of like catalogs, um, your business cards, pens, you know, just the, the things that you're handing to your clients that will, right, come yeah. back to you. 
Yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's just put an, uh, an average of $2 per guest in this. And that's kind of maybe a little bit high. Some of you are probably going, I don't, I don't do all that. We're just going to go ahead and put that, that number in there. So because you might want to give away one of the little uh, you know, packs of, uh, of Gucci or maybe one of the little pillow packs of uh, Just Like Me, whatever. So let's take $2 per person. So let's go ahead and put $12 on our business supply uh, box on our placemat. All right, one ten and two ones. All right, now Stacy, we are down to now getting our order back from the company, mm -hmm. all right? So we're getting the order back, we're starting to make everything happen, and because we didn't have stock, we're gonna have to either A, decide which is a cheaper way to go and drive and deliver this to all of our guests, or you're gonna ship it out. So what do you typically run into as far as your shipping prices, things like that? What would you say the average would be to ship out a package post-show? I would say, you know, the average, if, if you had to ship everything, I would just go with about $5 per customer. Obviously, that's going to vary with weight and packaging, but for this exercise, I think the $5 would help us. Okay, so let's go ahead. We had six customers, right? So we're going to go ahead and pull $30 and put $30 on our shipping out, which would be one twenty and two fives. All right, now... We are at our party profit now. The rest of that money is ours. We can do whatever what we want with it. So Stacey, will you go ahead and count that and make sure you guys are all counting too as well, seeing if you got up with the same number of $121. $121. All right, so we are at $121. Stacy was able to get it done. Stacy, that's 20% of the total of the party that you were able to bring in. And you were able to go out there in three hours and make $40.33, which I think is fantastic. Amazing. Without having any stock, without anything. So these are some of the things that you need to do. If you want to find the money, you got to follow the money. And so many people never take their time and put this into play. Now, Stacy, we know one thing though, and that is most people are doing a sale day. 80% of the orders that are coming inside of Pure Romance are coming in during a sales day. So a buy up a level, a shipping uh, price decrease, whatever it might be. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to do it on a buy up a level day, okay? So let's go ahead and take advantage of why Pure Romance sales are so important for you to take advantage of. So now, instead of us buying at 40% Stace, we're going to buy at 50%. So Stace, that allows you to say, I'm not going to pay $347 for all that. I'm going to pay $200. $190, which allows you to bring back in $57. So everybody go right now to their cost of products and take $57 off the table because you took advantage of a buy up a level sale. You are now not buying a 40%, you're buying a 50%. So Stacy, you start looking at that. Now, what do you think your total profitability is in your pocketbook? Ooh, I love it. See, and count, everybody be counting right now. Wave that money, let me see what you got. $178. $178, Chris. Okay, $178. Now, Stacy, that's $60 an hour. That's crazy. I know, isn't that for three hours worth of work? And if you're a percentage person and you're sitting there going, well, what percentage is that? That means, listen, you're basically all in, shipping out the orders, doing all the different things, paying your sales tax, paying your shipping to get the product here. You're looking at 30% net net when you walk out the door taking advantage of one of these $59 an hour to go over and operate. So these are just some different ways and I say that that happens a lot of the time. Now one last piece that I'm going to throw into this before I turn it over to your amazing instructors to go through some of the other questions, expenses, things like that. We also will have an FAQ sheet that will go along with, hey, what about my car, tag, you know, automobile expenses, things like that, which are all write-offs, which by the way are awesome because you're your own business owner. One of the things that we want to talk about though is if you're able to share the opportunity. One of the cool things that we have for 2019 is we have free product sponsor bonuses. So one of the free product sponsor bonuses could possibly be used at this party because you're sharing the opportunity. Not only are you going to make money on anything that she sells, but now you're going to get a free product bonus that happens right away so you can capitalize on that. So Stacy, with this one, we were able to go out there and sell a deluxe kit. With that deluxe kit, that allows you to pull in off of your cost of goods. Everybody right now, take $50 back off of your cost of goods. 
or cost of products. All right, Stacy, that should give you $228 in profit, which gives you 39% that you make. If you take advantage of just sale, you are out there sharing the opportunity. You're doing all the things, because at, at Pure Romance, it's about making sure, if you want to know where your money is, you got to follow it. you got to be disciplined. Because so many people come home and go, I don't know where my money's at, because they don't do activities like this. Because you know what? You say, I don't have time. I don't, you know, I got, I got so many other things to worry about. If you want to make money, it's a disciplined part of following the money inside the business. And I go tell you right now, this class, this exercise is something that says, hey, I want you to wave that in front so every time you go out to do a party, the, the minimum to $120, if you don't do anything right, all the way up to $228 by taking advantage of daily sales and free product. Stacy, I know you love this activity as we did it. What were some of the things that you have learned that you would share uh, with the people that are watching right now? Well, I, I just, I, you really covered everything here, you know, um, just smart buying, yeah. you know, and just seeing the exercise and knowing that maybe you, not maybe, take advantage of the Inventory Advantage program, because right there, that's going to put money right back in. That shipping cost, you're not going to have to incur that now. Um, you know, as you start to carry inventory, you're going to have those heavy items. All those costs are going to go down, profit's going to increase, and you're going to be sharing the opportunity, and every time that happens, what? It's going to rain, Chris. Yeah, it is. <laughs> and right now, we're going to jump into the $1,000 party. Are you ready? 